Hi everyone, today we're starting our revision topic of fractions and percentages. In today's lesson we will learn how to find an equivalent fraction and how to simplify fractions. We will have been successful today if we can produce an equivalent fraction and if we can reduce a fraction to its simplest form. Okay, so let's start with equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are two fractions that have, this, have different numerators and denominators but hold the same value. So, for example, if I show a half here, that is one out of two parts. If I change the numerator and denominator to two over four, this still holds the same value, so they are equivalent fractions. And I can also come up with three over six, again, an equivalent fraction. Those three fractions all hold the same value. So, in order to find an equivalent fraction, we change the bottom by multiplying or dividing by any number as long as we apply the same to the top. So, 3 over 9. If I pick any number, let's say I divide the bottom by 3, as long as I divide the top by 3 too, I come up with an equivalent fraction of 1 over 3. Taking the same number, 3 over 9, let's say this time I decide to multiply the bottom by 2. As long as I multiply the top by 2, I get an equivalent fraction to 3 over 9. So 1 over 3, 3 over 9 and 6 over 18 are all equivalent fractions. So let's go through an example here where I'm going to list two equivalent fractions. So 1 over 4, I can pick any number to multiply the bottom by. So let's say I choose to times by 2. As long as I times the top by 2 as well, I am going to get an equivalent fraction. Let's say I choose to times the bottom by 10. As long as I times the top by 10, I'm going to get an equivalent fraction. So 1 over 4, 2 over 8 and 10 over 40 are all equivalent fractions. Now let's do the same with the bottom. Now looking at this fraction, I can see there's a nice number that divides into both of these. So if I divide the top and the bottom by 5, I'm going to get 2 over 3. I could also times by 4 to get 40 over 60. So now I know that 10 over 15, 2 over 3 and 40 over 60 are all equivalent fractions. And like I've already said, I just made those numbers up that I multiplied by. You could multiply 100, 1000, divide by 1.5 and you will always produce an equivalent fraction as long as you do the same to the bottom that you do to the top. Okay, simplifying fractions. So, to simplify a fraction means to reduce the fraction to its simplest form. We do this by finding the highest common factor of the numerator and denominator and dividing both by this number. What I mean by this is we find the biggest number that goes into the top and the bottom of the fraction and we divide both numbers by this. Okay, so let's go over example one. So I'm looking for the biggest number that goes into 15 and 25 and that number is 5. So I divide the top and the bottom by 5. 5 goes into 15 three times and it goes into 25 five times. What I need to do now is I need to check that 3 over 5 is indeed in its simplest form and I do that by checking is there a number greater than 1 that goes into 3 and 5? No there is not so it is indeed in its simplest form. Now 24 and 32, the biggest number that goes into both of these is 8 so I divide throughout by 8. 8 goes into 24 three times and 32 four times. So a check, is 3 over 4 the simplest form? Yes. 14 and 28, the biggest number that goes into both of these is 14. 14 goes into 14 once and goes into 28 twice. Okay. Now, sometimes we can't spot what the biggest number is that goes in. So let's go back to example B, the 24 over 32. Now what happens if you forget that 8 is a factor and you just remember that 4 is a factor? So what happens if I divide by 4? So if I divide top and bottom by 4, I get 6 over 8. 
Okay, so we have simplified, is this in its simplest form or is there any other number greater than one that can go into six and eight? Well, yes, there's two. So I can divide by two on the top and bottom and you'll see how that gets me to three over four, which we did get to in example B by dividing by eight, but it's okay if it takes you more than one step as long as you get to that simplest form. Sometimes it might be too difficult to see what the biggest number is. So for example, 54 over 120. Now a good hack is to always look at the both the numbers on the top and the bottom and say, are they even numbers? If they are, we know that you can divide by two. So 54 and 120 are both even numbers. So start by just dividing it by two to simplify it down a bit. Okay, so 27 and 60, are they both even numbers? No, so I can't divide by two again, but looking at 27 and 60, you can see that both of these lie in the three times table. So you can divide by three. Nine over 20, is there any numbers that go into both of these? No. Okay, so we are finished, that is our final answer. So sometimes with these bigger numbers, it's handy just to take a few steps to break it down to make sure we don't make any mistakes. Okay guys, I will be setting work on Teams. Please make sure you're asking for help if you need it and I'll see you next day. Bye.